we're going to now talk about what Nate's been doing. His latest assignment took him to the home of one of our all-time favorite guests, Fanny Eugene. Princess. Uh, princess, who we crowned Princess for a day back in 2003. Take a, take a brief look at this. This was fun. Fanny lives modestly in a small house. She drives an old air conditionless van. Money's always tight. We thought Fanny deserved a break, so we rolled out the royal treatment. We got a new van. And it's all yours, Fanny. Oh my God, this is unreal. Two and a half years later, that van would help Fanny and her family escape one of the worst natural disasters in U.S. history. When we found out Katrina was coming, I was able to pile 12 of my relatives into the van that Oprah gave me. We was able to get out. When we were leaving, I made sure I had one very important thing, my tiara, that Oprah gave me when I became princess for a day. And being the van was as crowded as it, as it was with kids, I didn't want it stepped on. So I put it on. I made sure it was safe. Fanny lost so much to Hurricane Katrina. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the first time I really talked about it. Too. This is the house we came back to. And it was completely demolished. We lost everything. All we had left was the bricks and the floors. So we got this FEMA trailer. So two years after the storm, contractors started uh, rebuilding Fanny's home, but they fell behind. And after living in a you know cramped trailer, one of those FEMA trailers, for 18 months, Fanny still could not uh, go back home into her house. So when we heard that, we put Nate on a plane to New Orleans <laughs> so he could finish the job. Take a look. Hey guys, hi Fanny. <laughs> oh, look at me. <laughs> I finally this get to meet you. Great. Oh my God, oh, yeah. look at me. I'm good. Oh my God. <laughs> nice to finally yeah, meet you. Who else is you. here? My husband, Gene. Hi, Gene. Hi, Nate. Nate. Pleasure. And my nephew, nice Lloyd. Hi, Lloyd. How, How are, are you? you? Wow. So this has been home for a year and a half. This is it. Look at this. There's barely enough room in here for you and me. So this was a really hard thing for right. you as well, because right. the bathroom's really important. Yes, it is. That's where I relax, because I work, I go to school, I take care of kids. And when I come home in the evening, then I go to the bathroom, I fill it up, and I just relax. Close the door, Right. relax. You mentioned your kids. When you say you kids, you've got a big family. Oh, yeah. When I say my kids, I'm speaking of my sister's kids. OK. My granddaughter, Amber, my grandson, Johnny, what has been the hardest thing for you about not having a home? When they come, I cook for them. Uh-huh. And we all just sit around and catch up, and we can't do that anymore. Can you imagine trying to be a family in this space? While Nate and his team tackle the unfinished house a few feet away, Fanny will move to a nearby hotel. The belongings she has left put safely in storage. All right, so Fanny, I'm ready to see the house. Let's all go. Right. Sure, right. sure. When you opened that door the first time after Katrina, what did you see? Describe it for me. It's hard. It's hard to describe. It was like, oh my God. I knew it would be bad, but I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't recognize anything. It was unrecognizable. We always had big dinners. And we would run tables. We'd have tables from here to over All there. All the way through. Yes. I love that. And this is the second bedroom. I assume this is going to need to do triple, quadruple duty. So how many people at any given time are in this house? 15 to 20. 15 to 20. 15 to 20 at any given time. And that's not a party. Oh, no. That's that's an afternoon. Oh, no, no. That's just normal. Goodbye to the trailer. There it goes. I thought that would be a way in life for me for a long time. I mean, I can't believe when I look at this, you can see, here we were. <laughs> That's been home for so long. It is gone. It's gone. So guys, um, I have a lot of work to do. And you know, my goal, truthfully, is going to be to make this place a place where you can forget about the past and really look towards the brightest 
a bright future. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you. you are so welcome. I, I, yeah, I'm tearing up because I think about that moment that every person who's still living in, in one of those trailers wants that to be gone. Yep. So coming up, Nate gives Princess Fanny the royal treatment. So I'm back with Nate. Uh, we sent Nate uh, to the rescue of our own Princess Fanny Eugene after a home was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina. Uh, this is what a house looked like post-Katrina. And uh, now take a look at it post-Nate's. Come on out. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Come on out. Hi. Oh my God, look at this. Welcome home. I said I wasn't going to cry. For a year and a half, Fanny's FEMA trailer sat in her front yard. This is a really big day. Oh my. God. I can't imagine how it would feel to be standing right here for you oh after, you know, this trailer is gone. Well, I think we should go in. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's great. Oh, my God. Since Fanny often has a full house, Nate created a living room for the whole family. Oh, my God. I'm glad you guys like it. Now, let me tell you something, darling. This is a sofa bed, so this pulls out because you told me no one gets turned away from this house. So this moves out of the way. You've got a full-size bed here. Anybody can come and stay. And then check that out. I You're lost sad. my sash in the hurricane. Well, it's back. I thought, we're the ones that gave you the sash, so we should be able to make another one. It's beautiful. God. And there's even storage underneath that table. You can continue to keep the room looking like this even when you've got a bunch of people at the house. Now let's see the kitchen. This is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Man. Oh my God. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, look at the Chinese. Oh my God. That's my grandpa. Oh. Thank you. You are so welcome. <laughs> Fanny's kitchen was demolished by Katrina, but now it's more beautiful than ever, with room to feed an army. <laughs> this is the heart of the home. I wanted you to have as many people here as possible, so I did this banquet all along the wall. You can get eight people back here when you have your big buffets. <laughs> and then over there, all somebody has to do is grab their own plate, because you told me it's buffet style. And your kitchen, never had a dishwasher. You do now. I'm gonna put one in for you. So I think that's gonna be a lot easier. This is like, oh my God. Okay, and there's more. There's more. Listen, and, and I think the reason I'm so emotional, I've seen a lot of wonderful Nate makeovers, but I, I think about, how the, for me, Fanny represents you know, the, the multitude, the thousands and thousands of people whose FEMA trailers are still in their yard and didn't have this opportunity. And she represents, you know, the struggle and the hope. So let's take a look as Fanny sees the rest of her new house. All right, are you ready to see the guest room? Yes. Yeah, should we go? This is beautiful. God! Look at it. <laughs> and I thought too, you know what, you guys, you've been in that trailer for a year and a half before that a shelter. You might need your own space a little bit too. This room doubles as a den. Here's the best part, you guys. That is a bed. There's another bed underneath. So, oh you know, it God. works as a sofa, but you can have a den, but you also have a guest room. Every closet in here is actually all built out for you. Great. You've got drawers in here. There's shelves. So, you know, this really maximizes the space, too. Your bedroom, I needed that to be the most special place. So. Oh, my God. This is beautiful.
beautiful. God. All right, guys, here's the deal. Fanny, you've been in school, so that's why I put the desk in your bedroom. I thought, you know what? You can close the door. You can concentrate. This is a spot for you. And then I put mirrors over here because all I could think about for the last few weeks was how narrow that trailer was. And I thought, I want this to feel even bigger than it is because it's time for you to have some space. When we started this project, I said, I want to find a place that has beautiful things. And Ballard Designs said, we'll do it. And I went through everything and I picked the most beautiful things and Lowe's was here around the clock. So I wanted a special spot for the tiara because when you wake up every morning, that's what I wanted you to see. Thank you. You are welcome. You ready to see the bathroom? Oh my God. Go into the bathroom. Oh my God. Isn't this great? <laughs> that's a jacuzzi. We took out that old tub. I wanted this, but you couldn't afford it. Well, you have it now. Thank you. <laughs> we got so that was uh, about three months ago. They did that this summer when Fanny and Jean moved back into their house, but they were evacuated again when Hurricane Gustav touched down in Louisiana. Can you imagine that? And after uh, seven anxious days in Alabama, Fanny is now back in her house and joining us from her new kitchen. Hi, Fanny. Hi, Oprah. Hi, Fanny. <laughs> well, I, you know, Fanny, I was thinking about you and the, obviously of the, uh, the people of New Orleans and Mississippi and the Gulf Coast, but you know, during that whole Gustav, I was thinking, How's Fanny's house? How's Fanny's house? How was the house when you came back? The house is great. When we left, I knew they would have a little debris with the wind and all, but somewhere in my spirit, I just knew that my house would be okay because God had already blessed me to have it done, which was a huge blessing. And I knew it wasn't going to be taken away from me just that easily. I heard you also, uh, you, took the, you took the crown with you again. <laughs> <laughs> my crown. <laughs> Everywhere I go, my crown goes. It's very important to me. It keeps me grounded. It uh -huh. let me know that good things do happen, and it will happen. Yeah. And I sent my sash to my niece. She lives in Metairie, and her apartment is on the third floor. So that's where my sash is. But my crown was on my head. <laughs> I love that. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.